A gruesome discovery inside a southern Maryland home lands a foster mother behind bars. Police say she placed the bodies of her two adopted daughters in the freezer inside her Lesby home over six months ago. Eyewitness News is following this still developing story for us tonight. Alex Dimitrik is live with more on how police made that discovery. Alex. Well, Adam, what happened here in this quiet neighborhood in southern Calvert County actually began nearly a year ago in Montgomery County with the deaths of two young sisters whose bodies were brought here in a freezer. Friday evening, the eight-year-old daughter of Renee Bowman jumped from her second floor window and began wandering when a neighbor found her. And she says, my mom beats me to death. She, she hits me all the time. 43-year-old Renee Bowman had locked her daughter in a room while she visited in D.C. She went to the sheriff's office when she returned and found her daughter gone. Bowman was arrested for child abuse and started talking about the two other daughters who had died. You know, her own uh, statement sort of says over a year. She moved the fr freezer down to Calvert County with the bodies in it. From where? Montgomery County. The freezer with the bodies of sisters, aged 9 and 11, was taken to the medical examiner's office. They and the 8-year-old were adopted by Bowman. Word that the sisters were dead first came from the 8-year-old girl. She had told me that both of her sisters had been beaten to death and that one that just didn't come back home. And that their mother did it. And that their mother had did it. Her mother beats me to death. Court documents charge Bowman with child abuse and state the 8-year-old had wounds to her buttocks, thighs, and lips. She also had ligature marks and scars on her neck and told investigators her mother beat her with the heel of a blood-soaked shoe. In the same document, when asked why she beat her daughter, Bowman reportedly said she was angry with her daughter's mental capacity and was stressed out. Bowman is only charged with child abuse here in Calvert County. Meanwhile, police in Montgomery County are investigating the deaths of those two other sisters, and charges there could well be filed. Back to you on TV Hill. All right, Alex Dimitrik live tonight for us. Thank you very much. Bowman is being held without bail today.